Hello, hello. My name is Lisbeth and I'm an abstract mixed media artist and I also very much like to teach. For a long time I have saved all my off-road sheets when I am jelly printing and I have a lot of them in all kind of colors and color combinations and many of them are quite beautiful. So it got me thinking that today I want to make a collage where I used one of these prints as a background. I don't know which one yet, but I will decide that later. And what else to put on my collage? I've got a patchworker, but I like to use fabrics in my collages. And um, looking for fabric and so on, you can't uh, ignore that, not ignore, but you you see a lot of quilters and patchworkers and their patterns and their blankets and what they do. And one of the oldest patterns patchworkers do is the pattern called uh, Lock Cabin. And it's a quite beautiful pattern, I think. It's a little square in the middle and then there are stripes all around going that way all the time and there's stripes that way and that way in light colors and stripes that way and that way in uh, some uh, dark colors perhaps in, or in two different kinds of colors, um, contrasting colors it could be. But if it has to be the original way of doing it, the middle square has to be a red little one a little uh, square or a little triangle. So that's my plan to to first take a piece of copy paper and just try to make some small cap lockings there. And when I have two or three of them, I will see how much they fit on my substrate. And I have chosen this watercolor paper. 20 by 20 centimeters and it is 425 gsm and place them and see how it looks and then decide what kind of overall seed I want to have under. So that is my plan for now. So I will make a lot of stripes first. So I have taken a lot of different papers in these greenish grayish uh, for the one, uh, two sides of the log cabin, and here I have taken some pinks, uh, purples, and Bordeaux, and uh, yeah, rusty colors for the two on the other sides. And um, I have this small ruler, and it is a centimeter wide, so um, I will just start tearing some stripes. I don't know if it could be called stripes, but uh, this one here, that's one. And uh, I think I found out yesterday when I was deciding what to do, that the nicest edges come if you tear it from the back. Um, of course you can cut them and uh, with a scissor, or if you have a rotary, a uh, rotary knife with uh, what it's called, you can do it that way. But I may, I will make a bunch of these, uh, so I have some different one to choose between. This one. My little ruler here is very slippery. I have to be really push it hard down here. I think I have enough here for a start with that color and uh, I also have some I have here in this color and uh, perhaps we can make one up with this here. So uh, of course you could have made them two centimeters or whatever 
measurement you want but i don't want them very big because my substrate isn't so big so again here i will take this piece here and do it from the back and, uh, I think that will be enough for a start. So let's begin. I have cut a little square here and it is nearly two by two centimeters and I will glue that down in the middle here somewhere on the paper. And then I will find a small piece, very, very small. Is that, yeah, that isn't enough but I think it will work and then I glue a red piece on here and then I will take this piece here also in the red family and just cut it so it is it has the right length And again, another red piece. Do I have a small one, perhaps? This one here, yeah. that one down so now we have you don't don't count that as a, a round these, these are the two in the middle that you start with but then you have two reds and now we have to have two greens all these not greens but grayish all kind of colors here so I will take that one and where's my little ruler? But this is the easiest way. Oops, I again it is sliding around this ruler. Maybe I can glue some masking tape on the back side so it ain't sliding around like this. Which is really annoying. And then I glue it down there. And then I find another one I think will fit there. Perhaps this one. There. Yeah. And again. bit but not much but uh, you could hold it even more than this and the stripes would be smaller so now there's two gray greenish and now we have to put some reds so how about this one here again and uh, glue it down and then we have to have a red there perhaps we can use this one There. 
and again I want some green, light greyish ones. Perhaps this one. Yeah, and again I will measure and tear it off like this. One gray screenish. Perhaps this one. need to give it a lot of thinking you can just pick one and uh, put glue it down and that's that put this here and again you aren't need uh, using a, a lot of material for this project but uh, you can also use yours if you have some long skinny strips of scraps they are nice to use for this and uh, perhaps this piece here or this piece here and where is my ruler it is here and again a strip there Again, two greenish. One is very green, this one. But perhaps that's quite nice to end with. There's my ruler, and again, and the last one there. <laughs> So that's the cap login with a typical red square in the middle and this is about 9 centimeters by, yeah this is 10 centimeters. But I think I will let it be like this and uh, make another one and try to make them a little smaller. Again I have started with a little bit a uh, red square it is about centimeter by centimeter glued the first first piece one and then we are starting the rounds so i will cut a little of this here. and glue that down and then we need another pink one here and this time I will uh, make it bigger overlap so this 
pieces aren't so wide, like the centimeter here. But for the next round, not the first round, because this would disappear if I <laughs> did that. And then we will have to have the green ones, the greenish ones. Let's take this one. It is quite meditative to make these log cabins. So now I have been around here. So now I will take a purple one and this one and I will glue it like this instead of over there at a five edge and then we will see Small, it would end up space here. Overlap it approximately half of it, and then we have to go greenish, grayish again. How about this one? This one, for instance, I cut that off. And glue it half in here. So, yeah. This one, and go half in. Better. Yeah. You 
can really play with the colors here. Yeah. And I will just put a last one here, this one here. to do this and now you have the second I will do one more I think so I have some things to, to play with for my collage and be back so here is the third one and I will cut them out of them it is just ordinary copy paper I have made them use the substrate here One. So now I have these three small pieces. I just glue another stripe on here to make it more like a square. And then I will take a look at my different ruler sheets here and see. Oh, first, I think I will see if I can place them somehow or some. Where, oh, perhaps something like that. Uh, yeah, I will just come up here so you can see something like that or that or that. Perhaps I'd like that way there. Yeah, but um, this is too much the same as this color scheme out there. Yes. 
tree here. Could look nice. Since there isn't any yellow here in these, perhaps it would be nice with some yellow. Something like that. Perhaps, yeah. This looks nice too. Oh, that's difficult. This is too much the same. Perhaps this one was the best. Even though I like the yellow one. Yeah, I'm quick decision. Not so much thinking. I will use this one. So I will... Uh, Make the right position for it and then glue it down and be back. So now this is glued down and I will cut the edges clean. You could also take a Stanley knife and your cutting mat and cut it with a knife. But, uh, for now this will work. And I have just used a glue stick. You can use any kind of medium to, to glue it down. So now here we have this square here. And and something like this perhaps oh. I could turn it this way but it's quite dark here This way and that way. That looks nice too. Then you could go to all the way around and see what you like the most. But um, perhaps this is quite nice this way here. Let's see. Turn it this way. Yeah. I think I will stick with that way here. So again, I will just. Take my paper here and put glue on the back side of this one here. And let, I will put a good amount here because it's double amount of paper I have to glue down here. And then I will stick that one down here. And, here. and I will only eyeball it. Then I will take this one and I will make it the same on the same level as, as this one here and put glue on that one. A good amount to be sure it will sit there. Just eyeball it. And I think something like that is fine. You could also turn it around and sorry for the do 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 for the <laughs> this is a way here. I really don't like that white thing there, so I will find a color and paint it afterwards. And again I will I think I will 
let it follow that line there but do I want to put it all up there or do I want to put it down there I This looks very empty right now. Perhaps I should make a little bit, the smallest one I can make and put up there. But I will do that off camera and I will glue the last piece on and be back. Let's do something about this white one here, down here. I'll just give it a little with my Carndash new color too. That was better. And perhaps... I will take my, this is a, some uniball eye, and perhaps just go around the squares. To give them a, And I don't mind if it's, it's not totally straight. All this here is so straight. Yeah, that was a little better. And uh, I decided to put a little red square up here instead of another cap -loggy. So this was the piece. It was really funny to make. Um, and now you can decide if you want it on your wall or you just w would have the experience of making it. But you could glue it to a cradle board or you could glue it to a stretch canvas and then you would have a nice little piece for your wall. I hope you are inspired by this and uh, will give it a try yourself. Use some of all your scraps. You can see you don't need very much. Um, also, please give it a thumbs up if you like the project and perhaps uh, consider subscribing my little Danish channel. So um, take care, be creative. Until next time, bye bye.